If you look here on my YouTube video, you'll see that we have videos on bigger fidget spinners, but somebody asked me for some teeny tiny ones, so here we go. We're going to make these real quick. Once again, welcome to the channel. And uh, so these are two different sizes. This is a regular worsted weight. This is Red Heart Super Saver on a five and a half millimeter or an eye hook with four double crochets in each single. And this is also from Red Heart. This is with Love, which is a little thicker on a J hook, which is six millimeters. And this has five double crochets in each single. So it's a little fluffier. You can, of course, uh, experiment and do whatever you want with the materials that you have at hand. But let's jump right in and get started on our little tiny fidget spinners. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to chain eight. And I'm going to do that relatively loosely because there's going to be a lot of pressure on these chains. And also the way the Mobius is set up, because fidget spinners are Mobius, um, I'm going to work into each chain two times. For that reason, when I start with my single crochet in my second chain from hook, I'm going to work in the back or the bump of the chain. Now, if you've watched any other crochet videos here, you know that I pretty much do that all the time anyway, but it is super duper helpful on a project like this where I have to work into both sides of the chain. So since I chained eight and I'm starting in my second chain from hook, I'm gonna have a total of seven single crochets. Now again, if you want to make a different size, if you're at home playing and making other kinds of fidget toys, if you want to change the circumference of the hole in the middle of the piece, this is where you do it. More single crochets will make that opening bigger, fewer will make it smaller. So here we are, I have my seven single crochets. So to make this easier to show you, I'm going to put a stitch marker in the top of the first single crochet that I made. Now, the next thing I wanna do is start with my double crochet. So normally, if I was setting up to work in the round, I would join right where that marker is, correct? That's what we would normally do. But because I'm making a Mobius and I wanna work on both sides of this uh, row that I have going on here, I'm going to take this and turn it 180 degrees and I'm going to join here. So not the stitch with the marker. Actually, let me get my working yarn out of the way here. The bottom of the stitch with the marker. So I'm gonna join right here. And I'm going to set up to work all the way in the round. So mathematically, Mobius only has one side, but that row that we made has two sides. But now that I've joined it into Mobius, it only has one side. So. Um, I'm gonna make a five double crochet one. So I did my chain three to get started and I'm going to put four more double crochet in the same single crochet. Oh, I did also mean to tell you while I'm doing this that uh, if you want to, you could start your Mobius off with a foundation single crochet if you didn't wanna chain and turn. That also works super well for a project like this. And the other thing, I didn't do it because it looked really confusing on the video, but I would likely have chained over my tail when I was doing that first seven single crochet row, just because it's sort of hard to get in there later. So here's my beginning, and I'm going to go to each single crochet around, and I'm going to put five double crochet in each single crochet. And it's gonna get a little roughly and full, and that's okay, that's exactly what we want to happen. Three, four, five. And so I'm gonna work on this until I'm halfway through the round and then I'm gonna come back and show you what's next. So I'm putting my last of my five double crochet in single crochet number seven. That was the last one on this side of the row. But now I'm going to make a Mobius. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip that single crochet over and I'm gonna look for my stitch marker. That's gonna tell me that I'm halfway through the round. So now at this point, I'm going to put five double crochet in here. One, two, 
three, four, five. Now I don't need that stitch marker anymore because it'll be pretty obvious when I get to my first double crochet because it's so much taller than my single crochet. So now I should have six more single crochets to work in. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to put five in each of those. Five double crochets in each of those single crochets. I have just put my last five double crochets in my last single crochet and here's how I want to join. I want to find that uh, chain three, that first double crochet. I'm going to pop it through the hole. Boop! <laughs> you have to say boop or it doesn't work. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three, that beginning chain three, and that's the end of my round. So now I'm going to slip stitch in each double crochet around. Now, do you have to do the slip stitch? You do not. But I find when you have people that actually use these and play with them, the edges can get stretched out really easily. So I find that they're much more durable if I put my slip stitch all the way around. And if you're using a multicolor like I am in this sample, not that you have to, it gives you a, uh, it gives you just another colorful aspect to look at. So I'm going to slip stitch and slip stitch and slip stitch. And what's going to happen is I'm going to keep pulling double crochets through that center opening and I'm going to get all the way back to the beginning of the round. So now I have a mathematical Mobius with only one side. Okay, I'm coming up to the beginning of the round. Remember, it's one big giant round now. And you can see there's my very first slip stitch that I put in. So I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving myself a decent sized tail. And I'm going to pull that up and out. Now I'm going to take that tail and thread it onto my big old tapestry needle. Now I'm going under both legs of that first slip stitch. Give that a little tug and then go back down into the center of the last one that I made. And now you can see that I have the chains just going one and two other. You can't see where they begin and end. So the only thing I have to do now is weave in this end. And if you haven't done already, you're going to weave in this end. And then you're all finished. And you have your crochet little Mobius fidget spinner that you can pull the center out from here to infinity. <laughs> I hope you had a good time making these. They're super quick to make. And so that's okay if they get lost. You can quick make another one. They're also a great use of scraps. I'm Mary Beth Temple. This is the Hooked for Life with Mary Beth Temple channel. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course you can always zip over to the blog to see what's going on over there. And also I will put a link in the description. There is also a video tutorial on a much larger finish, fidget spinner for adults. So thanks so much for stopping by and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.